found it. I found it. I found it. All right, welcome back to Pokemon Silver. I feel stupid, actually, for missing that little area that is to the bottom area. Anyways, we last episode we hatched a Togepi. Yeah, I did nothing else to hatch a Togepi. Interestingly, this one's level 5 when it hatched. That's not something it does in later games. Everything you hatch in later games is going to start at level 1. Uh, I don't know what... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I'll just keep it in front to see how it goes. So I found where I had to go. I don't know how I missed this. But you go this way. Yeah, you go this way. Wow. It's fruit bearing tree. It's a poison cure berry. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going then. Ruins of Alf East Entrance. Ruins of Alf. Do I want to go this way? Hello. You're studying the ruins? I see a scientist in the making. <laughs> oh man, I am actually gonna grow up to be a champion. That's all right with you. Ruins of Alf, a look and touch tourist site. <laughs> a look and touch tourist site. Okay, that's an interesting way to describe it. Try the sliding stone panels. Try the sliding stone panels, okay. There are drawings on stone panels. I tried moving them. I wonder what they are. Oh. Okay. Um. Ruins of Alf Research Center. Authority on the Ruins of Alf. Hello? How are you? The ruins are about 1500 years old. But it's not known why they were built or by whom. Okay. Wow. Nice server you guys got. There are odd patterns drawn on the walls of the ruins. They must be keys for unraveling the mystery of the ruins. Oh, I think I already know what the Pokemon I'm gonna find here is, and uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not interested in this Pokemon at all. How many? Just a cave there, cave there, up here. Oh, what's this? Seem to have caught up to somewhere. Don't you wonder who'd make something like this and why? Like the ruins, sir? Can I talk to you? Did you see that strange tree in the road? That may explain why fewer people are visiting the ruins of Alf. What? Can I go up? Okay, there's a, there's a lot of people here. Hello. Why, well, hey, I was going to snap that tree with my straight arm punch, but I couldn't. I'm a failure. You can't. Don't punch a tree down. It's your Steve from Minecraft. Arthur, who are you? I'm Arthur of Thursday. Your Arthur of Thursday? Here, you can have this. I got a hard stone. Arthur of Thursday. That's... Today happens to be Thursday, actually. A Pokemon that uses rock type moves should hold on to that. It pumps up rock type rock type attacks. Okay. But you. An odd tree is blocking the way to Goldenrod City. It's preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. Um Yeah, I know. I think we should take care of that. Route 36. Okay, uh, I'm... Huh. I caught up to somewhere. Oh, is, was I just here? I was just here, wasn't I? I just made... It's a complete circle, really. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> there were two paths that could have gotten me out of here, and I missed both of them. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm going to... You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them at Violet City. The training at gyms must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass type moves. Oh, sure. Keep handing me all the free items. Sure. I've got a hard stone and now a miracle seed. Except we don't have any grass types to use this on, unfortunately. How did you get up there? You know, I don't want to figure that out. That's for later. Okay. There might be new encounters here. Let's see what do we have. That is not a new encounter. That is an old encounter. Also, wow. I think it's level 8. What level is my Zubin at? 9. I had a feeling that there'd be higher level Zubats. Little did I know it would be in the next area. Oh well. 
Okay, uh, we're not catching it. We're knocking it out. This is gonna be a good experience. For sure. And each life sucks, so that's gonna not do much at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know what I should do? I should probably put War Gun at the top instead of Scratch. I'm not sure if you can do that in this game. I'd assume you could. It'd be weird if you couldn't. Okay, this is literally just a slow battle now. I've noticed that these battles seem to take a little long. I don't know if that's just me or not, but... The thing is, in later games, attacks and HP lowering animations happen pretty much in the same time frame. Well, here it's just an attack followed by an HP drain animation. Well, in most cases, yeah. Um, this face. Flies back. Flew right in the eye, too. Kind of grabbed my eyelash on that one. Oh, trainer! Hello. Haven't seen a trainer in a while. <laughs> I haven't seen you around before. I was not reading the text on there. I was just saying my own sentence there. Literally, I know I was going verbatim off of that text. So you think you're pretty tough? Oh yeah, I am tough. I have a full party, while you have only two Pokemon. You know, if you don't- if these trainers were smart enough, they would have six Pokemon in their party, but no, they don't. I- I- I literally- they need to be stronger, okay. Well, I- I wasn't even paying attention to the level at that thing, shoot. Hey, Jossum. Okay, it's level six, okay. I- I think anything would have taken this one out, I just didn't know. It did not do much at all. Don't use water gun. Oh man, that damage is so good. It's good to have stab moves now. Same type of attack bonus moves, if you didn't know what that meant. Stab moves. S-T-A-B, same type of attack bonus. When you use a move that is the same type of your Pokemon, it's... A, I don't know how much it, stronger it is. I want to say like 50% stronger than what the move base damage is. Alright. Uh... I'll give Kakuna some experience here. This one unnamed Pokemon of mine for whatever reason. Probably because I caught this one. I had a Weedle. I didn't have a need to name it, really. Alright, we'll do this. Go back into Jawsome. Have z this... Oh, you're confusing me! Okay. I'm confused. And I hit myself. Ooh, that actually does a bit to myself there. Eek. Okay, this trainer is actually not messing around. My own starter is in yellow right now. Okay, leech life again. <laughs> it barely bumped you up, you're still in red health. But then again, you that's probably the only attacking move. Yeah, low level Zubats are actually pretty bad at attacking. They're sure good at confusing, that's for sure. Okay, how much have we even sent? Hello, Wade. Good evening. It's me, Wade. Got a minute? My Caterpie's looking awesome. I wish I could show you. Oh, yeah. I managed to beat a tough Bellsprout. You don't need to call me every time you knock out a Pokemon with your... your Caterpie. You don't. I feel like maybe talking to these trainers could actually... Just so you know, I don't know if I did this off screen or not, but... That person, that Wade person, I talked to them, and now they're in my phone. For some reason. Oh. Uh-huh, yeah, I know you. Pardon? Battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, <laughs> Oh, alright, but make it fast. Was she on the phone? Huh. Did cell phones even exist back then? 2000. Maybe. Oh, hello, Nidoran female. We've definitely not seen this one yet. I don't know why I still have Xander out in front. Uh. 
since 09, huh? Okay. Drow, okay, that's gonna suck. My attack is gonna get lowered by that. I'll try and tackle it. Okay, more growl, never mind. No more growl. Hmm, that's not doing too much. More growl. Okay, I'm gonna probably swap out real quick. This could take a while. You know what, let's give Kakuna some experience with switching to him. Or it, whatever. Not the female, so her. Okay. Can't do much about the Harden. I feel like Jawsome, even though she's in yellow health, I'm pretty sure she'll be able to do this. Because Growl doesn't lower special attack, which is what my water is coming from, my special attack, there we go. Something I actually haven't mentioned, it's, uh, the stuff I know about this. Um, the move type is actually what determines if it's physical or special or not, um, but I don't have it memorized. I actually have never played a game where it went by that rule where a type is, a type of a move is uh, determining it, determining, or rather, the physical or special attack uh, is determined by the type of the move. I have not played a game with that kind of function in it. Those were in the old games. And also, I am so close to level 14. Alright, thank you. Since you have a phone, I wonder. I was having a nice chat too. Wow, you're good at battling. Wanna give me your phone number? Had a feeling that you'd give me a phone number. Add Liz. Alright. Call you if something's up. Alright, sure. You do that. I need a heal. Um... Let me... Put you in front, actually, for now. Or, you know, I... Let's put Kakuna in front. One more level will, I'm pretty sure, evolve it. Hmm. How many potions do we have? We have two potions. Okay. We'll give one Jawsome. I don't... We, we need to eventually get revived. Excuse me. We need to eventually get revives. I don't know when that's gonna happen. But watch, now watch this be a revive. No, it's a potion. <laughs> I used a potion, got a potion back. Alright. Well, that works. Oh, hello! Wild Whooper. Yeah, hello. Let's, let's catch this one. Okay. Uh, you don't even... Can I actually check something? What moves do you have? You don't have any attacks? Really? Okay, we're not using Xander. We're... Wow, how are people even supposed to work with that? Then, huh. Batty, I guess it's up to you to weaken it. Alright, we're gonna catch this whooper. I don't think I'm gonna use it because it's water and I'm my starter's water and I'd rather use my starter for obvious reasons. Oh, that least life actually didn't do much. I didn't even pay attention to that damage there. And it has a water gun. Which does more to me. <sighs> okay. We got eight Pokeballs, I think we can do it. If this doesn't catch, I'll just weaken it more. Oh, it worked. Okay, we got Wooper. Now, Wooper in itself is a good name, strangely enough. But let's see here. Maybe we will give it a name. Hmm. When it walks around on the ground, it coats its body with a slimy, poisonous film. Also, they always smile for some reason. They're always happy. So, let's see here. I'll name it Smiley, because it's always happy. That makes the most sense, okay. And it goes to the PC, because my party's full. Alright, well, right, let's go back up. And counter something else, why not? Another one of these whoopers. 
which you don't need now that we caught it. Um, we'll defeat this one. Level six is still not much, though, for uh, a Pokemon to knock out for experience. Not gonna lie. Ugh! The tackle missed! I still can't get over why tackle misses. That's literally like your first move, and also, realistically, I mean, realistically, tackle, tackle doesn't miss unless, you know, you evade. In this case, you would probably use an evade move to make that a possibility, but here, tackle just happens to have, an, for some reason, 95 accuracy instead of 100. So, if I were to tackle something in my house, like, I don't know, a dummy or something, I have a 95% chance of missing because that dummy is standing still? It doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, at least they changed it, so I guess I should probably stop ranting there. It just doesn't make any sense why in the first place it was like this. Okay, I'm going in circles again, aren't I? Okay, map time. We go down, I think. I don't know. Freaking flies back. Alright. Um... Okay, I see. We do go down. Branching paths. Let's go to the right. There's a bridge here. Are you guys fishermen? Hmm. I could get a fishing rod at some point. I don't know. Oh, I... Hello. I'm a good angler, but an even better trainer. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how good of a trainer you are, then. Fisher, Fisher Ralph wants to battle. They have a Goldeen. Oh, the Goldeen. Ten. This thing's level ten. Okay. That's a high number. Oh, boy. Um... Who do we take this one out with? We'll use Jossum. Does Jossum actually could probably withstand a bunch of attacks. Okay, unless they're critical hits. You know what? Oh, boy. I haven't used this move yet because I'm afraid to use it. I don't know how this works. I want to... Just for the fun of it, let's use it here. Rage. No, don't confuse me. No, not at a time like this. These things have supersonic. Why? Rage again. That's not doing much. And my defense fell. Alright. Let's scratch it. Just as long as confusion doesn't screw me over. Ow. Try this again. Scratch. There we go. Huh, that Goldine looks like it got hurt by that scratch real badly. It has a lot of body surface. That's being scratched. I'm in danger. Peck. Oh boy. I'll be able to do this. Confuse no more, scratch. Down. The 2 HP clutch there. And we deserve that level up for sure. Oh man, you will be down quite a lot there, fisherman. Do we get a fishing rod? At some point. Okay, well, that's, uh, all right, that's the end of that bridge. I'm, I, I assume that these are trainers, too. I'm gonna go heal if I don't die going back. I'm gonna be honest, I'm glad that, that I'm making so much use of the map. I'm pretty sure if I didn't look at that map that I was given, I would not have found this area down here. It's funny, because I've never used maps in the newer games. Because I guess they really did show you how, where you needed to go, and I went the wrong way. Actually, I meant to go this way. This is the area- oh, hello, trainer. This is the area I was gonna check afterwards after I went to heal. That glance, it's intriguing. I think you used the wrong form of it's, by the way. I, I didn't see an apostrophe there, but then again, you're speaking, so it doesn't really sound different. Your name is Roland, Niederman. Oh, man. Niederman Mail. I wonder where you can get these. It'd be nice to have one of these, actually. Level 9, okay. Well, it's up to Jawsum. I think Jawsum is better off taking out these higher level Pokemon right now. Tackle. These 
critical hits, really. Fire some water. I need to make that water. I need to put water gun at the top of my list. Rather than have it there. Horn, horn attack. This guy's tackle and horn attack. Okay. I think horn attack would have been better to start off with than tackle. Why are you using tackle? Ta isn't tackle weaker than horn attack? Pretty sure it is. <laughs> this is where we get to see the AI play stupid for once. Actually, we already seen it once before when someone, some AI used foresight with a hoot hoot against a, I don't know, what was it, a, my own hoot hoot? Doesn't work. It, it doesn't do a thing. I want the item that's up here. I see an item, and I can't pick it up without encountering something. Oh, it's Marie. Hello. You're an electric type. Okay, let's see. I'll definitely catch this one. Uh, actually, this was stupid. Why did I... Does it have an electric move? I think it does. Um... I was gonna send out Batty to weaken it, but now I am actually not going to do that. It might be bad. Yeah. Problem is, Batty is a flying type, and I'm pretty sure this thing has electric type moves. For sure. Okay, maybe not. Sure seems resilient. Oh, it's a speed type. Mur, you are really slow for what you are. I gotta say. Thought for sure these centrists would be high speed related. Huh. Oh my god, tackle? <laughs> this is... Why am I even trying to tackle it anymore? I'm not knocking it out. I'm trying to catch it. We'll go for it. Alright, we got it. Mareep was caught. And we got it into the Pokedex. Its fleece grows continu- uh, Con- Contin- What? Continually. I've never heard the word continue used in that form. In the summer, the fleece is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. I've never seen a, a Mareep with its fur shed off, ever. <laughs> probably, probably would not want to imagine that right about now. What do we name this one? Uh... We'll name it... Tamal. Because that's all I had in mind. Alright. Now we get to get... Ooh! Great ball! That's a... That's great! Very, very great. Okay. Uh, okay, that's a trainer. I was gonna walk the other way. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I, I think they'll do it for me. I actually actually would rather fight them, but uh, I didn't really expect right away. A youngster, Gord. Who's named Gordon nowadays? I've never met someone by the name of Gordon before. Also, got your happy whooper out. Okay, all of a sudden, I'm noticing that these trainers are tough. Wow, 10. Okay. Um, you know, it, right, times like these, there's, I wish I had a super effective move, but I don't. I wish I had my freaking, uh, pea shooter with me, but I don't. So the best I'm gonna have to do right now is use Jawsome and scratch it down again. Unfortunately, I don't really have fun doing this, it's kinda bland, but it's the safest option. Right about now. Getting some... Oh. Getting some crits in would be good for me. See, the thing that makes Wooper look cute is that it's happy and then you see, like... Imagine just, like... I don't know what those called the whisker parts that stick out. Imagine just, like... They're going... They're drooping down. Like, a dog looking up at, uh, its owner with a cute look with the ears down. It's it's kind of the same thing. Darn, I thought I could win. You only had one Pokemon, what did you expect? Literally, all these trainers don't know what they're doing with just one Pokemon. Oh, boy. 
this fisherman up here? Should I fight these fishermen? Huh. I'm pretty sure... It's worth it. Also, I don't know for sure if these fishermen happen to have a fishing rod for me. Maybe we'll fight them and find out. And if they don't give it to me... Well, that's a polywag. Hello. If they, even if they don't, I, at least I get the experience and the money. That's good. We'll see here. I need to use Batty more, but I can't right now. The leech life is too weak right now. I'm not... Bubble. I'm not gonna sit here and use leech life every, like, one turn and chip it down very slowly. That's gonna take forever. Ooh! Hypnosis. Alright, that move is bad. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> of course, and now I'm asleep. Okay then, well, we're gonna have to change Pokemon now. Alright, now we're sending out Batty, because I don't have any else, anyone else to really use right now. Two of my, two Pokemon in my party don't have attack moves, and if you want to count Batty as a third, because literally each life is not much at all, then that's three. No, don't, mm, don't do that, please. It's very, very cheap. I'm gonna use Supersonic. Really? Alright, well then... We'll wake up, maybe that's a good way of uh, fixing the issue here. Whenever, anytime now. At least Bubble is not hurting me too much. It's only doing three damage each. But if I'd wake up faster, the fast, the sooner I wake up, the better. If I don't wake up, the damage feels like it's stacking up. Oh, critical! And I'm still asleep, aren't I? My God, this is unfortunate. I'm gonna now attack. I'm not gonna even bother relying on lucky confusion to work here. I need when do you wake up how long am I gonna be asleep oh whoa oh Barry is activating hello I forgot I had that Barry on me do I not wake up ever I'm starting to think that you can't wake up okay there <sighs> that took really long and wow all that time of trying to wake up just to do that much damage this is probably the longest fight ever right now for me and it's only one Pokemon too which is kind of crazy Getting closer. And my speed fell, huh? Uh, just one HP left. But look, I looked away at the screen just now. I'm, I'm in disbelief. This is uh, this is uh. A jerk polywag right here, wow. <sighs> My god. Well, clockwork, you can get the last hit in, I guess. No! Okay, good. Okay, that was the most annoying thing I fought so far. I know that there's gonna definitely be worse than that, though. I still have more. <laughs> really? There's two? Are you serious right now? I have to buy two of these. You know what? I have an idea. Let's do something different. I'm gonna flash this thing until its accuracy drops. If I could just get up and do it, that'd be fine. Ugh. What's, what's the soonest that I can wake up here, I wonder? I don't know. 
I mean, like, two turns should be the minimum. Wake up now. No, you're not like... Mm. Since when were knocked house or knocked, hoot hoots never nocturnal? It's nighttime and you sh shouldn't be asleep. When it's nighttime, you're awake, aren't you? There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That is a very flashy animation. Hence the name. I lowered its accuracy because I would because I don't want hypnosis to hit me. I'm getting sick of this fight already, to be honest. Half my team is asleep and I don't know what to do anymore. I do have awakenings and stuff, yes, I'm aware of that, but I'm gonna do that afterwards, okay. It's gonna use it again though, that's a problem. I already have a feeling. Oh, that does like half health, alright. Miss! Yes! See, okay, yeah, see, that that prompt said the attack missed, rather than it failed. That, that's gonna get annoying to me as well. Clockwork is a level 8. And Fisherman Henry Splash? Shut up. Oh! Oh! We got it! We got an evolution! Kakuna is evolving. And now we got ourselves. Congratulations, Shark Kakuna has evolved into B Drill. And a Learn Fury attack. Awesome. Is that. They're at the front of my party, aren't they? Let's use it right now. Whoa! You made me lose that fish! Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you could lose fish. Alright, Fisherman Justin. Sent out magic card. <laughs> Underwhelming... Um... Okay. This is not a good debut fight, not gonna lie, for this drill, unfortunately. But we'll do it anyways. Magikarp's got nothing. Hit two times. <laughs> what the heck? The whole bar moves down with the Pokemon, that's a little weird. I might hold on to this- <coughs> Sorry. I might hold on to this Beedrill for a little longer, actually. It seems to be now doing some damage now. Now doing some damage now. Never did damage then. Another Magikarp. Oh, my whole team is asleep. Forgot about that. I'll give Xander some experience here. I know Xander doesn't evolve by experience, it's mostly uh, happiness actually. Or something like that. Okay, we'll go back into B Drill. Yeah, these magic carps are literally the easiest thing in the game to fight. Because they can't hit you with anything. They're easier than unknowns. Unless the Magikarp is like level 15 or something or whatever, I don't know. But whatever level it learns tackle at. Then that's gonna maybe make it a little different. But other than that, this thing has no attacks. I'm pretty sure that move hits more than twice, doesn't it? Fury attack. What's, there's a move that hits twice that Beedrill knows, but I, it's not Fury Attack, it's something else, I don't know the name of it though. Another Magic Carp, I don't- I actually probably should have switched. Damn it! Oh, hello, you're level 15. Actually, I'm switching anyways. Screw it. Experience for all, sorta, except not really. Dang, that's gonna actually give me a lot here. Back to Beedrill. Okay, this one knows tackle, and it kinda hurt. Fury attack again. Yeah. Why are you using splash? And now we get to see more dumb AIs do things that make no sense at all. Ooh, man. This one was Magikarp this much of a tank. Hit three times. Hmm. 
So we got another Widow fight, I guess. I don't even know if Magic Carps are even like ex XP givers, experience givers rather. I know that certain Pokemon give more experience than others for whatever reason. I don't know. It's not based on level. It's based on what the Pokemon is, and then you add level on top of it, and then bam, that's the experience gain there. Can we, can we get a five? One, two, three, four. We hit five. Awesome. How is, how is a freaking fish faster than a bee? That's not that's not logical to me. Especially since this bee has wings. Is that enough? No, it's not. I'll do it one more time. Oh, you missed, really? Okay, there. Wow, Xander didn't get a level up from that one. You know what? I don't know what level this is, but if it's five, it is five. Why not just waste turns trying to wake up? <laughs> it wakes up immediately, okay. Yeah, Alright, actually, this is- uh, that made me just think of something. If this Magikarp here has no attacks, then why don't we just do this? Uh... Swap into all the sleeping Pokémon, and then wake them up, uh... Mid-fight. That should actually- that's actually clever. I haven't thought of this in- I should've thought of that earlier, to be honest, but... I'd rather use the Beedrill in its debut fight. Fortunately, it was a Magikarp fight, little did I know. I, I should have expected that, to be honest. There's always this one fisherman in the game that has just Magikarps. Sometimes they have a Gyarados in the back, but... Literally every game has it. It's, I don't know why. I, well, maybe not every game. I can't. I don't... It's just a theme. A recurring theme that you see this one fisherman with just Magikarps. It's just literally free experience. Because Splash is not a move or a, or a status, it's literally just nothing at all. Sploosh. All you had was Magikarp. But hey, you had four Pokemon, close enough to six. Unlike most trainers, so... Alright. That was a lot of fight. Is there more stuff to fight? You know... We haven't really looked in the grass much. I'd imagine. Let me check the area of this one. Oh, we're actually not in the area of a Spearow. Believe it or not. Caterpie was not... Uh, Caterpie is nowhere in the game, as far as I know. Um... We already caught this one, okay, um... Ghastly... Bellsprout... Okay. I don't think we're able to find these yet, but... Because they're water-based and we need a fishing rod, I'd assume. Oh, they're not, they're not even in the area, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ah, this is what I was gonna check, actually, area of this. Not even near us. Probably the same goes for this one, actually. Yeah, alright. Well, is there anything else to encounter in here? I don't know. Maybe. Let me talk to you at the festival. Okay. Is there even... I haven't even known yet if there even is hidden items. Did I fight you? I did fight you. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in Canada as far as I know. Oh, there's a trainer! <sighs> you don't need the... Uh, I'm gonna change my party leader here. Um... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Ah, my god! I didn't mean to press cancel either. 
Actually, no. Anything that doesn't really have a move should get experience, and Batty doesn't have a move, so it'd be easier if I just uh, put Batty in a. <laughs> nice experience points, by the way. <laughs> I'm glad I accidentally checked the experience count on that one. <laughs> oh man. Oh uh, man, now I don't want to level up Batty, but well, I'm gonna have to. Obviously, I want to evolve this one. You're a trainer, yeah, no you're not. You're not a trainer. How would you like to have this? Tasty, nutritious, slow poke tail. No thank you. For right now, for right now it's just for one million dollars. You will want this. Oh, what happens if you say yes? I thought the kids these days were loaded. I just said, what? I just press no. You don't want it, then sc scram, shoo. What is that? What? I'm confused. Hello, this is convenient. Poke Center is right here. Alright. We're healing. Shall we heal? Sure, we shall heal. Let me. I'll do that. I see a. It looks like a bug catcher right here. This is a great fishing spot. I thought you were a bug catcher, though, but okay. You saw people fishing. How about you? Oh, you are a fisherman, but you look like a bug catcher. Okay. Do you use the fishing net? Or, excuse me, a bug net for a fishing net? Would you like to have one of my rods? Oh, absolutely. I would definitely love to go fishing, for sure. That's good to hear. Now you're an angler, too. I got an old rod. Oh, the crummiest one. Of course... A fisherman will just lend me a free used rod. Fishing is great. If there's water, be in the sea or stream, try out your rod. And catch right away. Oh. Wade! It's me, Wade. Got a minute? My counterfeit is looking awesome. I wish you could show you. Oh yeah, I'm a managed to be a tough bell sprout. I knew you'd be you just had this. Well, Wade is definitely one of those annoying people that like to call every minute of their life. What should I make my Pokemon hold? Maybe an item that increases attack power? Like what? Like what? Oh. Okay. That doesn't really explain anything. Okay. Right. No. Gosh, I go to the wrong menu every time. Like, the thing is, four, the top four start with P. P, 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 A, S, O, E. Okay. If your name starts with P, I feel bad for you right about now. <laughs> pack. You couldn't just said backpack or knapsack or something like that. You just have to name it Pack. But then again, I don't know. There's a seven character limit, isn't there? No, no wonder. It just says Pack. I I might actually deposit Beedrill now since we evolved it. That's my goal, really. And uh, now it's out. Out of the way. I'm gonna need. Something super effective against water, we're probably gonna have to go with this for now. Uh, we have Bell Sprout, but I don't wanna use it. Or Pea Shooter, rather. Um, also, we don't have anything against flying, as far as I know, but that's beside the point. Another trainer, I. That badge, it's from Violet City. You beat Faulkner? I sure have. It was easy. Very easy. Indeed. -y. Oh, you have three Pokemon. Oh, you're a bird. Keeper. Alright. Hmm. I think Mer can do this one. Yeah, level six. Not a problem at all. Critical hits, though. That is a problem. Haha! <laughs> you missed your tackle. Oh, there we go. You know, okay, it makes a little bit more sense for a bird with wings to miss a tackle. It's more of, it's more of a swoop rather than a tackle, if in that case, then. Kinda, I meant to press the switch button, or oh, whatever, I missed that one then. Mer is actually getting up there in the strength department. I'm doing 
half of these Pidgeys' health. On uh, each tackle. Alright, Spiro! I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> that, that, that was a lot of excitement in my voice for the way I said that. Uh, you know what, let's try something. I would imagine... Oh god, that level 8, actually. Um, I'd imagine this thing not having a normal move. Hopefully not. Okay, I should resist that. Not very effective, okay. We'll try to take this one out. Oh, okay, that's gonna... It's gonna be a long one. We're gonna growl it. Attack fell, alright. So now it's only doing two damage, okay. Let's see here. Oh, this is interesting, actually. Actually, I don't know. Oh god! Okay. Um. Okay, that ruins everything. Um. That, that critical hit surprised me. Uh, I don't know if you could tell by my voice. It, I raised it pretty loudly there. If I peek the mic, that's my own fault there. <laughs> oh, boy. Have some water. There we go. Bird Keeper Peter. I like the name for that one. Bird Keeper Peter. A nice, nice nick, uh, more nickname. Personality, prof personality, profession, rather. That's what I meant to say. Huh, I'm not sure. How long is this recording, anyway? Long enough. Alright. I'll be honest, I still don't know what Pokemon I should be using or not. Also, if there's anything I might be missing as far as, you know, catching stuff will go. I mean, there was that Rune of Alps I didn't really check much of. I just kind of went in there briefly, then went out. Then, well, made a circle. Then went in a direction that I definitely didn't go so that I didn't make a circle again. It could be important to go there again, but I wouldn't know that for sure. So, there was a cave that we're gonna, I guess, go into. But that'll be for the next episode. Right now, my throat is really dry. This, this commentary, man, I gotta say, it's some throat exercise. So, that's it for this episode. Next time on Pokemon Silver, we'll enter that cave. Alright, see you guys.